My name is Jenny Ko, and this is my last lecture. Chapter One: An injured lion still wants to roar. I am like the autumn leaves on a tree. The tree itself holds the leaves, and the leaves needs to be, you know, held on. And I always have someone holding on to me and supporting me. Also, the colors of the leaves. They look so vibrant and colorful, which describes me as a colorful and a cheerful person. Chapter four: The Parent Lottery. My parents always told me to respect others, and they will respect you back. And so it's like treating others like you want to be treated. My parents also taught me to be a happy person. Not exactly a sad person at all, and because of the environment I lived in with my parents, it was pretty fun and happy. And I'm happy the way that I was cared for when I was younger. And I'm very thankful that my parents are strict because they have taught me many things from right from wrong. I am very grateful for them. My family, we don't go out that much, but what do we do? We try to make it worthwhile to remember the events that we went since we don't usually go on vacations as much since we're all so busy. I remember this one time when we went to the Grand Canyon, and even though we visited many other places, the canyons. That I visited, it was pretty amazing that I'm seeing these sights, and I'm glad I went with my parents to see this. I also went to Korea when I was four years old with my dad, but I don't really remember much at that time since I was so young. But after 11 years, I went back there when I was 15, actually with my mom also, and. I remember most things from there now. And,、uh, my relatives, we went to a lot of places, and they took us to many places to go sightseeing, and it was really fun over there. Chapter seven. I've never made it to the NFL. I have many goals, and I plan to achieve all of them, with also help if I need any, of course, by family members or friends. That Will support me. My brother is a mentor in my life because he helps me in a lot of things. He takes me to places that's not relevant at all, but he also helps me with homework and study for tests. He tries to help me become successful. I am very grateful for my brother. Chapter Eleven: The Happiest Place on Earth. Like Randy said, there are brick walls there for a reason. My brick wall was my shyness because of my shyness, I really didn't have friends, and since I really didn't talk at all during school days, I really didn't feel lonely for some reason. Although most people would, but I guess I'm more of a self-independent person from my perspective. I guess. Chapter twenty-one, Jay. Out of all my friends, I have this one friend in my life. She actually changed my life mostly entirely, and she made. Had me more outgoing, and if it wasn't for her, I would still be the shy person who's still in a shell, not wanting to come out of it. And because of her, I have much more friends than I usually had when I was young, and I'm very grateful for that. Chapter twenty-four, carving. 
I was really never called a jerk in my life because, like my parents taught me, I had to respect others so they would respect me back. And so I do that with all my friends and to other people. And so by doing this, I really never been called a jerk. Chapter 28, Dream Big. I honestly don't think that adults are being so strict and rigid, but I always think that they are being strict for your own good. And so to help you in your future, they should um, help you not make the same mistakes they did or they have seen in their lifetime. And that's what I like to think. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. I was always told that going the easy way has consequences to face. But going the hard way, there will be at least less consequences or no consequences if you go the hard way. And in my life, I always want to go the easy way since I really don't like hard things, but I actually change that perspective now and I try to challenge myself to go hard, the hard way so I could be better than going the easy way and improve just by a step when if I go the hard way, I could improve a lot more. Chapter 56, Tigger or Eeyore? I am more like a Tigger than an Eeyore because in my life, i mostly been happy and smiling than being sad and thinking about negative things. And even though bad things happen to me, I get back up on my feet and just be the way I am as a happy person. Chapter 61, The Dreams Will Come To You. I have many advices to people about leading a fun and rewarding life. Many things that I have done work for me a lot. And one of them is trying new things. If you try new things, it's more interesting and fun. And it's more better if you have friends or someone with you to do it with. Another one is having someone to lean on. Even though you should lead a fun and rewarding life, there is a problem that you might need to face, but you can't really do it alone. So you need someone to lean on. So this is what my other advice comes from to lead a rewarding life, having a friend that will support you all the way. And my final advice is living life to the fullest. Now you should ask yourself, am I living life to the fullest right now? Because life is just like riding a ship through the ocean, not knowing, or maybe you should know A storm is coming and you're stuck in the storm with your friends and so with your friends helping you you get through the storm by and the ship is still surviving and riding onto the ocean when the storm ends you see this wonderful vast ocean view and that's what life is like to me